Core Estates Spectrum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're set for the starting lineups for tonight's game. First off for the Chicago Bulls at 29-3, 11-3 on the road. Scotty Pippen starts it all up front. Boy, five out of nine from three-point range in his last game. He's having an MVP season. Dennis Rodman compliments Pippen in the other spot. Well, he got tossed in the last game. Let's hope he sticks around for the whole one tonight. Luke Longley in the middle. His high, 21 against Seattle. In the backcourt, Ron Harper. Ronnie Harper started all 32 games this year. Very consistent. And Michael Jordan rounds out the starting five. Well, if Pip is MVP, I got to give Jordan comeback player of the year. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Bill Jackson has won 71% of his games overall in seven seasons with the Bulls. For the Philadelphia 76ers, who are 7-25, 4-11 at home, Derek Alston coming off a career night start. Yeah, he went three out of four from the line last night, but recently he's been 7-20, 35% from there. Weatherspoon, the other forward. He is the most consistent sixer. In the middle, Sharon Wright gets the call. Had a little rotator cuff uh, repair this summer. In the backcourt, the fine rookie we spoke of in the pregame, Jerry Stackhouse. He's one of the few guys that came in as a rookie and started the first game. And a pickup, a good pickup for this team. Trevor Ruffin has played very well. Yeah, they found him playing in Greece earlier this year. And the head coach is John Lucas, second year of the 76ers. He's 31 and 83 in a season plus on the Sixer bench. Well, the lights have been dimmed for the introduction of the starting lineups to the sellout crowd here in the spectrum of the Philadelphia 76ers. As far as the overall series is concerned, the Sixers lead it 83 to 65, but the Bulls have won the last seven. They were 4 0 last year against this team. Last time the Bulls lost to the 76ers, December 8, 1993, 95 88, in overtime. Talk about best starts uh, with three losses. The Bulls are among an elite group here. A Laker team and 76er teams both won the championship. So did that New York Knicks team, and the Bulls are right there with them. You know, Red, it's kind of fun at this time of year to take a look at the different statistical categories and, and measure them against what it takes to win an NBA championship. And one thing you have to be able to do is win on the road. You're going to have to play and win on the road in May and June. There's no doubt about that. But some of the other categories, uh, like rebounding, uh, uh, shooting percentage, really point differential to me, or that seemed to be a very big one in terms of uh, determining an NBA champion. The, the team that wins the NBA championship is always in the top five in point differential, it seems like. Well, the Bulls have not really had a problem scoring points this season. Now, they've had a couple bad quarters. They had that 11-point quarter against Seattle, uh, 28 and a half, but basically, they're able to get up and down the court and uh, put the ball in the hole. The officials for tonight's game, Ron Gerritsen, Mike Callahan, Tom Donahue. And we should be about ready to go. They had a hockey game in here this afternoon. The New York Rangers defeated the Philadelphia Flyers by the score of 4 0. Well, that's why the Bulls could not have their shoot around here today. So they went to a junior college, and Lord, wouldn't you know it, they couldn't, nobody could find a key or the caretaker. <laughs> so they turned the bus around, went back to the hotel, and tried to come out here and shoot a little bit on the floor as they were putting it up. Yeah, and literally putting things together here. Yeah. There are the Bulls in there? New road uniforms, the solid black with the pinstripes, red numbers, Dennis Rodman. Michael Jordan, as we mentioned, has uh, reached several of his career milestones in this building and could get to 23,000 points in his career here tonight with a 29-point performance. There's the number on Michael. Philadelphia in the home whites. Solid blue with red trim. Luke Longley on the tap against Sharon Wright. And the Bulls able to control. I noticed, Red, that as you were making your way back up here, that a lot of people still remember that you contributed to this franchise. You played <laughs> a portion of your career here. Yeah. You came from Syracuse and became the Philadelphia 76ers. Jordan gets the step on Stackhouse. Nice dish to Longley. Had it stripped away by Alston. 4 3 and a clock. Michael picks up, trying to force it that time to Rodman, and Trevor Ruffin comes away with it. Weatherspoon on the run. 
Offensive foul, Ronnie Harper right in the way, and boy, Witherspoon went up to hammer that baby home, but all he gets for it is the foul. He Witherspoon takes, like a yeah. runaway locomotive. Yeah, he can get up, too. Watch him take off here. He's collecting to go in. Harper just standing there, going to take the blow, and he does it. Nice job. No score early going, about a half minute into this first quarter. Good to have you with us on a Saturday night here in the snowbound east. Longley on the block. A couple of times now they've gone into Luke and he has fouled this time. Looked like Stackhouse reaching from behind. Well, Sharon Wright, though, is the guy that got on a push. Stackhouse actually triggered the ball loose. Wright gets the foul with the body, his first of the first on the team. And there is 42 year old John Lucas. Coach and general manager of the Philadelphia 76ers. Pippen off the mark. Rodman trying to rebound, and apparently the ball went up. Hit over the, the clock. Back. Yep. Yeah, hit the clock. It's going to be Bulls basketball, was last touched by the Sixers. Dennis told me on the bus on the way out, Red, he said, I think I'll play the whole game tonight. I think I'll stick around <laughs> for the whole thing. Pippen, nice look to Rodman. Reverses to Jordan for three. Dennis the rebound and couldn't quite control on Stackhouse. Last touch by Stackhouse would have belonged to the Bulls. Stackhouse, uh, an outstanding career at North Carolina. Of course, he came out as an underclassman and he's guarding a guy that he probably grew up uh, idolizing. Came up, you know, after just his sophomore year, right? Mm -hmm. And Michael came out after his junior year, if I'm not mistaken. Pippen with the scoop. Scotty gets it back and on the save attempt, he had traveled anyway. So not a very good start here against a team that is not a not has not a very good record. You know it's amazing Red the Sixers last night won by 27 points right. Mm -hmm. Their previous six victories were by a grand total of 44 points. So they have not had many blowout situations. Ten to go on the shot clock for Trevor Ruffin. Nice look to Weatherspoon, the first points of the game in the bank. Weatherspoon with the deposit. The Bulls take over, trailing 2 0. Bulls have been off since Wednesday. Jordan, the turnaround over Stackhouse. You know, Red, this might be interesting here tonight. Jerry Stackhouse, whether it was tongue in cheek or not, has said on several interview occasions that. That he has played Michael Jordan the offseason down in North Carolina and uh, was beating him on one on one games, that type of thing. Foul coming up here against Ron Harper is his first. First on the team. Well, now it's for real. I Those think, games are for fun. Yeah, I think Michael will be uh, looking to, to show that rookie something here tonight, perhaps. Not that they necessarily will be guarding each other. Ruffin on the drive through the lane. There's Weatherspoon of the chip shot. Alston chases down. Weatherspoon had a tip from behind by Jordan. Pippen ahead to Harper. Ronnie Harper stretches out, knocks it down. $25 donated from McDonald's to Charitables every time a Bulls player slam dunks in tonight's game. Four to two Bulls. Trevor Ruffin, as Red mentioned, playing in Greece earlier this season. Sharon Wright. Nice touch. Four apiece, we're tied. Scotty Pippen to Michael Jordan. Jordan right around Stackhouse and pulls it out. Longley on the block. They want to get Luke off quickly. Weatherspoon the rebound. He's had 20 rebounds or more in two of the last three games. Matter of fact, Weatherspoon and Rodman are the only two players to put together back-to-back -to -back 20 rebound performances this season in the NBA. Stackhouse spinning against Jordan out of control, lost his footing and traveled on the play. Bill comes halfway down the floor to call a play here as you see Stackhouse try to spin around and lose his balance. Stackhouse suffered a hip injury three games ago. Hasn't been quite the same since. Struggled his last couple of games. Jordan wide open. Michael with four, and the Bulls' lead is two.
Ruffin, watched by Jordan. Ruffin is really a two-guard red playing in the point guard spot because since Scott Skiles retired, the Sixers are without a point guard, a true point guard. Ruffin penetrating. Longley swats it away. Oh! What a sensational feed to Pippen. Beautifully done. Caught. Turned around in the air. Found Pip. Steal for Michael. Slam for Scott. The Bulls have doubled up the 76ers in the early going. Spoon on the block. Stackhouse outside for three. Air ball. Rodman allows it to bounce out of bounds. Take a look at that play again. Michael Jordan on a creative pass here. Does he know where everybody is? He didn't even look that time. He knew he was down there. Well, we've already established he has eyes in the back of that head. Michael for three. Ring it up. Yeah. Very nice start for MJ. He's got seven. A seven-point lead by Chicago, the biggest of the night. John Lucas wants a 20-second timeout. 76ers have fallen behind by the biggest margin with 7.24 to go in this first quarter. And Michael Jordan off in great shape thus far. Three for four from the field, one of two from the arc. Don't forget our next telecast coming up on WGN. Monday afternoon, that's a noon start central time. Bulls and bullets, and I tell you, Red, that Washington team is coming along very nice. They've got the two Price brothers now, and uh, if they get Weber back, they're going to really be in good shape. There's a guy whose name hangs above the ceiling, uh, on the ceiling of the United Center, Scott Williams, who played with the Bulls in three championship teams. He may be out the rest of the season, right, with that but knee problem. He gave up his number 42 to the rookie, who's wearing it now, Jerry Stackhouse. Well, Scott Williams' career has been marred by injury, and it doesn't look like he's going to get much better this year. Ruffin, a good move there. Stackhouse on the drive. Little deposit by Stackhouse. Sixers trail by five. Dennis Rodman on the wing. They set uh -oh. up the triangle right. He passed it back to Harper, who was cutting toward the baseline in the pass off the mark. As a result, the turnover gives it back to the Philadelphia 76ers. Sixers this time take a full timeout. Just under seven minutes to go, first quarter. Bill Jackson's Chicago Bulls lead by five. 